Hi dear fans, friends and subscribers, uh, welcome to your uh, late edition uh, on Saturday of the Cricket Happening Show. Well, so welcome everybody. Uh, well, as you know, uh, I mean, I, everyone probably, everyone would be knowing the results. So basically, since it's a late night cricket show, uh, there's nothing sort of a report that I'm going to do. But briefly, I'm going to analyze the game. And well, we are talking about the finals of the Champions League T20, which culminated today with a victory for the Chennai Super Kings. Chennai Super Kings winning the match in a very, very comprehensive fashion by eight wickets. And the hero of this particular victory was none other than Suresh Raina, who went on to take the Man of the Series award with the maximum number of runs in the Champions League T20 uh, 2014. And what he did is something absolutely exemplary. I mean, a score of 180, 80, uh, they were chasing 180 for six, which was set by the Kolkata Knight Riders. And Chennai Super Kings closed at 185 for two in the 19th over to win the match. And this was their second uh, Champions League T20 victory. Uh, congratulations to them, for, to Dhoni and his men. And look at what Suresh Raina did. Suresh Raina was the difference between the two sides. And he slammed the ball into all parts of the ground today. And the ease with which he did it was something which was really had to be seen. It was like twinkling food to the feet to the spinners and he was depositing them time and again into the crowd. And look at the sixes that he hit. Eight sixes in all, six boundaries in an unbeaten knock of 109 runs of just 62 deliveries to take Chennai Super Kings to a magnificent victory. Not only that, they also stopped the, uh, the winning habit that Kolkata Knight Riders have created by getting 14 consecutive wins uh, in their uh, T20 tournaments. Uh, but now Kolkata Knight Riders have to be content with 14 consecutive wins. The run was broken today by the Chennai Super Kings by winning this uh, finals at the Chinnaswamy Stadium in Bangalore by 8 wickets. Not only that, Kolkata Knight Riders probably could have held the record if they had actually beaten Chennai Super Kings. But now Sialkot Stallions of Pakistan will hold the record for the most consecutive wins in a T20 tournament and that would be 15 and Kolkata Knight Riders would be a close 14. But well, um, uh, congratulations to both the team, but uh, to, to, uh, to Chennai Super Kings and my commiserations to Kolkata Knight Riders uh, captain Gambhir and his men. Well, very, very unfortunate that Sunil Nadin was not, uh, not a part of the Kolkata Knight Riders. But let me tell you one thing uh, for me was the difference and, and that was none other than uh, uh, Suresh Raina. It was absolutely blistering stuff. Uh, the batting was simply, uh, uh, simply sensational by Suresh Raina. Uh, he was coming, yes, definitely batting was easy because the ballers were finding it uh, pretty difficult to actually grip the ball because of the due factor. And yes, the toss was very, very vital in this particular finals, uh, which was played at the uh, Chinnaswamy Stadium in Bangalore, where, um, where Chennai Super Kings, um, uh, mind the thing, Dhoni won the toss. And as Gautam Gambhir said, if he had won the toss, he would have also batted first. But the luck of the dice actually went uh, the Chennai Super Kings, Mahindra Dhoni's, Mahindra Singh Dhoni's way. And Dhoni had no hesitation uh, in inviting the Kolkata Knight Riders to have a crack uh, at batting first. And Kolkata Knight Riders, let me tell you, they had a decent start. In fact, they had a very, very good start. In fact, uh, they put on, in fact, Robin Utapa actually started by uh, really driving uh, Mohit Sharma beautifully down the ground with a straight bat, uh, which was of uh, real signal of things to come. And after that, let me tell you, Gautam Gambhir, who has been searching for form in this particular uh, tournament, uh, came good at the right time. What a knock Gautam Gambhir played. In fact, the partnership was... Uh, yielded 91 runs in 10.5 overs, uh, in which uh, Robin Uthappa contributed 39 of uh, 32 deliveries with four fours and one six. But look at Gautam Gambhir. Today we saw that Gautam Gambhir, uh, that one, were, uh, one I mean, I, I, I would say that we were seeing Gautam Gambhir of old, who actually used to partner Virendra Sehwag in, uh, for, uh, for India. Uh, and Gautam Gambhir, as I said, he played a real captain snog there. Uh, he was uh, really, really uh, playing the strokes uh, pretty freely. Uh, he was uh, steering the ball well. He was uh, driving well. And he was playing the cut shot pretty well. And uh, Gautam Gambhir uh, went on to make 80 runs 
of 52 balls with seven fours and three sixes. Uh, uh, Jack Scalis uh, was an early goner. He was out for one. Uh, and then uh, Manish Pandey contributing uh, 32 of just 19 balls with two fours and two sixes uh, is what really, really enabled uh, Kolkata Knight Riders to uh, get to a score of 180 for six. Uh, but, uh, <coughs> but let me tell you that Chennai Super Kings, well, they were really struggling. As I said, uh, uh, today Ashish Nera also came in for some real tap uh, when the Kolkata Knight Riders were batting for, for a change. We saw that Ashish Nera wilted under the pressure today. Uh, he was slammed for sixes by Yusuf Patan uh, and other players. Uh, Mohit Sharma bowled three overs for 27. Ashwin three overs, none for 26. But look at uh, P. Negi. Now, Negi has been a sort of a real uh, find, according to me, because what he does is a left arm spinner. Uh, he's not afraid to toss the ball, invite the batsman to have a go at him. And the, he, and the batsmen have been doing that. And let me tell you, uh, Kolkata Niders were really, really sailing smoothly after a partnership of 91. Uh, in 10.5 overs, you could really expect some real fireworks and probably Kolkata Knight Riders could have gone to an extent of probably uh, making a score in excess of 200, but that didn't happen. And the reason that didn't happen was just because of this bowler who, who became the first bowler uh, in this particular tournament to take a five-wicket bag in a T20 match and that is something uh, which has to be really, really admired. Is that Pravin Nogi is a left-arm spinner. Uh, he really, really foxes the batsman. He invites the batsman to have a go at him and the ball turns away from him and look at the stumpings that was created. Robin Uthapa was stumped by Dhoni with the balling of Nagy and Nagy really caused a, a sort of a real hole into this Kolkata Knight Riders innings because from 91 for uh, 1, they started losing wickets uh, with um, now Uthapa being the first to go. Nagy was the one who actually provided the breakthrough uh, by having... Uh, him stumped by Dhoni behind the stumps for 39. Uh, after that, he, he took the wicket of uh, Jack Scalis, who was caught by Nera. Uh, Manish Pandey was caught by Mekalam. Um, and as I said, Negi was the difference. And, and the other thing that Negi did uh, is that he, he dismissed, uh, he got two players. In fact, uh, he got two good all-rounders uh, into the pavilion uh, in a pretty quick time. First, he had Ryan and Doshat um, really foxed by a delivery that actually uh, spun away from him. And Mahindra Singh Dhoni did the rest. He was gone for a duck. Surya Kumar Yadav was sent back into the pavilion for a duck uh, without uh, doing anything. And Andre Russell was not too. Yusuf Patan uh, slammed 20 runs of 9 balls with 2 fours, an unbeaten 20 at that, of 9 balls uh, with 2 fours and 1 six to get this Kolkata Knight Riders to a score of 180. So as I said, from 91 for 1 with the uh, openers Gautam Gambhir and, uh, and um, Robin Uthapa uh, putting on a a very very uh, good stand. Uh, it would uh, probably, I said, I think, I, I'm sure that Kolkata Riders would be eyeing a target uh, of probably in excess of 200, and that didn't happen. And that was precisely because of P. Negi's bowling, the left-arm spinner, who bowled four overs, no maidens, 22 runs, and look at how many wickets he took. He took five wickets for 22 runs. And uh, well, I was so happy that he was given the Man of the Match award, even though Suresh Raina scored a century, because Suresh Raina definitely took the Player of the Series, and I think that was. Um, pretty good on the part of the uh, match adjudicators uh, to actually uh, give the man of the match award to P, uh, P. Negi and I was pretty happy for him. Judeja 4 overs, 1 for 25 and Wayne Bravo 2 overs uh, which was costly for 24 runs. Uh, Chennai Super Kings uh, in the chase uh, started off, uh, they didn't have a good start. Patrick Cummins who actually came into the team because of Sunil Narayan as you know. Uh, Kolkata Knight Riders as I said, uh, if, uh, uh, with the 180 score it always looked a bit difficult. And as I said, the toss was very, very vital. And, you know, uh, towards the end, we saw that the Chennai Super Kings uh, batsmen were really, really making hay. Uh, the reason being that the, uh, the ballers were not able to actually grip the ball. And uh, so, so basically, they couldn't turn the ball. And the spinners were getting whacked absolutely out of the park. And that man who was doing that was none other than Suresh Raina, who went on to make his uh, third T20 century. Uh, let's have a look at the Chennai Super Kings card here. So Chennai Super Kings... Uh, chasing 181 to win the match. Uh, well, they lost Wayne Smith pretty early in the piece as uh, actually after hitting two boundaries of just five deliveries uh, in the very first over. In fact, he started off with a bang by uh, cracking two boundaries of the bowling of Patrick Cummins. But Patrick Cummins had his man as he went on to disturb the furniture of uh, Wayne Smith for eight, which made the score nine for one. And after that, there was absolutely that Kolkata Knight Riders bowlers could do nothing because nothing, because Brendan McCullum and Suresh Raina were at the crease. <coughs> Even though Brendan McCullum was probably, I would say, 
Uh, to his standards, he was uh, playing a sedate role compared to Suresh Raina. Suresh Raina was absolutely brilliant. He took the attack of the Kolkata Knight Riders by the scruff of the neck. The way he was playing, as I said, uh, what was good to see was the ease with which he was dispatching the bowlers for sixes. Uh, well, once the uh, Patrick Cummins and Andre Russell were gone, it was uh, simply exhilarating stuff from Suresh Raina. Suresh Raina was stroking the ball sweetly. Uh, he was, uh, it was making a really, really uh, very sweet sound at the bat. And the way he was playing, uh, well, as I said, with the spinners, uh, it was absolutely twinkling feet. And once he, has, he, had, he, had, he had left his crease and the bat had actually connected to the ball, the only thing that you could see was that the ball had gone high, wide and handsome into the crowd for a six. And those were those eight sixes he hit of the spinners. And the way he hit those sixes was simply, simply sensational. It was a pure timing, uh, it was a pure precision, and uh, it was nothing, I mean, you, you, one could have said that, you know, Suresh Rana could have not even made a mistake of even holding the ball into the air, such was the command that he had today. And not only that, he also gave uh, some uh, real uh, treatment to Kuldeep Yadav, as you know, Suresh Sunil Narin was not there, and Kuldeep Yadav, as you know, uh, probably would have been, <coughs> one thought he would have been more motivated, because today the team was announced, and Kuldeep Yadav at the age of 19 uh, was inducted on the Indian side. Now let me tell you, Kuldeep Yadav at the age of 19 um, uh, has come into this Indian team. Let me tell you, he has not played any domestic uh, matches for his, uh, for his, uh, for his uh, state Uttar Pradesh. And here Kuldeep Yadav is after uh, putting up a very good performance in the T20 World Cup uh, where he took a hat trick in Scotland. He came into the Champions League T20 and was doing well. But this particular match, as I said, uh, there was nothing. Kuldeep Yadav was absolutely manhandled by Suresh Raina. And Kuldeep Yadav, as you know, has been inducted into the uh, Indian team for the first three one day years in his West Indies. And Kuldeep Yadav himself uh, felt that it, is, it has come as a real surprise that the selectors have gone for him. In fact, as you know, India have arrested uh, Ravi Chandran Ashwin uh, for the West Indies, uh, as West Indies are going to tour India for three one day internationals, for uh, five one day internationals. And for the first three one day internationals, India have announced the team. And Kuldeep Yadav uh, is, a party, uh, is, is a part of the team. And Kuldeep Yadav, but today, as I said, Kuldeep Yadav probably one thought would have been greatly motivated and probably one was looking forward to a very good performance from Kuldeep Yadav with the ball. But today, as I said, one man who shattered the hopes of Kuldeep Yadav was Suresh Rana, who was hitting him clean as a whistle, as uh, the late uh, Tony Gray, the commentator, would have described. Kuldeep Yadav's four overs cost him 44 runs. Suresh Raina was the one who really, really, uh, really gave some real pasting uh, to the Kuldeep Yadav's uh, uh, Chinaman uh, wrist pin. And Suresh Raina, as I said, with Brendan McCullum, was really carving the spinners. Uh, and he was driving well. I mean, what do you say about Suresh Raina? He was simply, simply electric today. Brendan McCullum finally was gone to the bowling of Patan for 39 of 30 balls and four fours and one six. And Mahindra Singh Dhoni, seeing that Shreya Shraina was really, really upping the tempo uh, and uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni did not want to leave anything to chance, he decided that he is going to uh, keep the uh, real uh, hitting, uh, the hitting form right there in the middle. So he decided to actually promote himself, came there and he pinched 23 of just 14 deliveries with 1, 4 and 2 sixes uh, to actually win the uh, title for the Chennai Super Kings the second title, second Champions League T20 title, uh, winning them by 8 wickets. Dhoni's contribution unbeaten 23. And Dhoni, what a way he sealed the match. He in fact went on to hit uh, two sixes uh, of, uh, two consecutive sixes of the bowling of uh, Yusuf Patan. One was, went over mid-wicket, the other went going over the long-on area. Uh, th and uh, Yusuf Patan's figures were shattered with Dhoni hitting two beautiful sixes uh, to actually finish off the match in style. 185 for 2, Suresh Raina going on to make an unbeaten T20 century, not out on a princely 109 of 62 balls with 6 fours and 8 sixes, as I said, hit with consummate ease. So 185 for 2, Chennai Super Kings winning the Champions League T20 tournament here in 2014. As I said, congratulations to them. They truly deserve to win. As I said, definitely there was a, one of Suresh Raina's batting. The other was that uh, you have to give a bit of a benefit of doubt to the uh, Kolkata Knight Riders bowlers. The reason being, uh, the ball was not easy to grip, so they were really, really getting clattered by Suresh Raina. Let's have a look at the bowling.
and see what was the damage that the Suresh Raina did to the bowlers. Cummings, three overs, no maiden, one for 32. Andre Russell, two overs for 14. Kuldeep Yadav is at 44 runs leaked off his four overs. Pius Chavla, three overs, cost him 38. Surya Kumar, three overs, no maiden, none for 21. And Yusuf Patan slammed away by Dhoni, 3.3 overs, no maiden, one for 34. Uh, all that I can say is that the toss was very important. Uh, Polkanda Niders lost it, and especially considering that Sunil Nadine was not there in the team, uh, it would have been very good for Kolkata Knight Elders to actually insert Chennai Super Kings in, but uh, unfortunately that was not the case. And Chennai Super Kings, I thought uh, they definitely had the luck of the dice, uh, and since they had the luck of the dice, uh, they uh, they got an opportunity against Kolkata Knight as I said, uh, because of the due factor, the ball was uh, really really difficult to grip uh, as the match wore on, and uh, when one saw the result and the way Shreyas Raina played, uh, that was simply simply stupendous. So, uh, so as I said, the player of the match went to uh, uh, P. Negi, uh, the Chennai Super Kings uh, bowler, actually um, uh, taking the, becoming the uh, first person in this tournament in 2014 to have a five-wicket bag, and Shreya Shraina, the player of the series. So that is as far as uh, the report on the uh, finals of the Champions League, uh, Champions League T20 is concerned. Chennai Super Kings are the champions, new champions. Um, so now. Uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to have a sneak peek at two things which are coming up. One is, as I said, the West Indies team. The, the, as you know, India, West Indies are touring India. And uh, the first one-day international is going to be starting on 8th of October uh, at Kochi. So out of five one-day internationals, the Indian team has been announced. Uh, they have decided to actually uh, rest uh, Ravi Chandra Nashwin uh, because of a lot of overload. And what they have done is, uh, they have actually... Uh, uh, um, uh, brought in Kuldeep Yadav and that was a real surprise inclusion but uh, I thought uh, that was a bold move they were probably trying to test the waters here for Kuldeep Yadav because Kuldeep Yadav was definitely dim, barring this particular match where Shreya Shraina manhandled him I thought um, they are probably giving an opportunity to him to see how he goes uh, just before if at all uh, he does well probably he could be a contender for the World Cup and why not uh, he could be a real surprise packet uh, for the opposition according to me so I, I think it was a brave move. Kuldeep Yadav has not even played any domestic matches, let me tell you. And here he is as a part of the India squad uh, over here, uh, which is uh, simply, uh, I think it's really very, very, very bold move by the Indian selectors. So Kuldeep Yadav uh, comes into the mix. And other than that, one thing that, uh, I mean, the, the team is uh, normally the same, so I'm not going to really talk about the team, but uh, I'm just talking about some inclusions and the non-inclusions. Now, Sanju Samson, who actually went to England and uh, you know he was uh, a pure spectator. He never got an opportunity, and I think he's a pretty talented bloke. Uh, and I was a bit surprised to find that uh, Sanju Samson was left out of the squad for these three one-day internationals against West Indies. Probably they could have rested uh, uh, somebody in the team and probably in included uh, Sanju Samson because Stuart Binney is also out of the mix. But probably Stuart Binney, I can still understand. But uh, probably Sanju Samson, they could have given him an opportunity. And that too on Indian wickets, I thought Sanju Samson uh, would have been someone uh, who, would have, uh, who would, have been, it would have been a good inclusion, according to me. But anyways, uh, uh, Sanju Samson uh, missing out. Uh, Amit Mishra is uh, into the team now. Uh, Karan Sharma, who was uh, there uh, against playing against England, uh, has also uh, been uh, dropped. And also Dawal Kulkarni also does not find a place for himself. So that is as far as uh, the squad is concerned, which is selected uh, for the three one-day internationals uh, against West Indies. When West Indies tour India, as I said, 6th of October uh, is the uh, first one-day international. Let me let me have a look. No, it's on 8th October at Kochi. Now the another um, uh, another uh, tour which is starting is tomorrow. Uh, we are going to see two new captains of two teams, and and uh, and uh, when I talk about two new captains, we are talking about the Australia's uh, tour of the United Arab Emirates, Australia and Pakistan clashing in the United Arab Emirates tomorrow. The first match of the tour kicks off with a T20 match which is going to be played between Pakistan and Australia. It is going to be played at Dubai uh, and there are two new captains on either side and some new players too. Now for Pakistan, the new captain is, Sha is going to be Shahid Afridi. Shahid Afridi is the new captain of the Pakistan side. Uh, then they have uh, Australia will be um, and Aaron Finch will be the new captain for Australia. So Aaron Finch and Shai the Freedy will be going to toss together tomorrow. Uh, and the teams every uh, both the teams are having injury problems. Unfortunately for Pakistan, Saeed Ajmal is out. 
uh, there is no Mohammed Hafiz because of injury. Australia are also missing some big names here. Uh, they, they are going to be missing. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to see who are the players uh, that Australia will be missing. Uh, well, Australia does not have. Um, uh, I'm just trying to see. I think. Uh, well, Australia don't have Mitchell Marsh. Now, Mitchell Marsh has been quite a sensation uh, in the previous uh, matches that Australia have played. And uh, I think Mitchell Marsh is uh, not there with a hamstring injury. There's no Shane Watson because of a calf injury. Pat Cummins is uh, doing duty for Kolkata Knight Riders um, in the Champions League final. And so we are going to see some good debuts tomorrow. T20 debuts for a lot of players. Uh, one would be the all-rounder Sean Abbott. Uh, we'll, we'll probably see Lex Spinner, Cameron Boys and fastballer Kane Richardson. So these would be the uh, three players who could probably making the debut. Uh, and also for Pakistan, we could see some new players making the debut. Abhya Zia is a very, very exciting prospect. He really likes to hit the leather of the ball. He likes to attack. Uh, he has probably played a few matches. Uh, but uh, Abhya Zia would probably be getting a first crack at uh, T20 as far as international cricket is concerned. And Raza Hassan. Now, Raza has been talked of a lot because of uh, Saeed Ajman not being there. Uh, Raza Hassan is, the, is the, uh, basically uh, a spinner and uh, as left arm spinner and uh, the, the Pakistan uh, think uh, highly of this particular player and especially one has to see whether um, uh, you know, Raza Hassan can really really fill in the void of Saeed Ajmal. We know it, it won't be, it's not possible but Saeed Ajmal according to me would be sorely sorely missed because he's a big difference, uh, no doubt about it. But uh, as I said two new captains will be going to toss together tomorrow at Dubai uh, in the uh, first T20 match uh, of this uh, particular um, uh, Australian tour of the United Arab Emirates where they will be playing on Pakistan. So the first T20 match tomorrow starts off at Dubai. Well dear fans and subscribers, uh, tomorrow your host Ram would again be there on a Sunday. I will be giving you a match report on the first T20 match between Australia and Pakistan at Dubai. Uh, and uh, that's yes, uh, so you can all wait for that uh, uh, report to come by tomorrow on Sunday. And uh, well dear fans and subscribers, it has been a, being a real pleasure describing you uh, these uh, finals of the Champions League T20 tournament where Chennai Super Kings put it across the Kolkata Knight Riders to win their second uh, ever Champions League T20 title and um, I'll be seeing you all tomorrow uh, with the match report on the Australia versus Pakistan game. Until then, uh, it's good night from Host Ram Studios. Thank you.